Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Wednesday. Time for a new episode of Recap. Obviously, lovely to see you guys. Uh, last time we caught you, if any of you guys were tuned in yesterday for Flip the Script, I got my ass handed to me twice. One by the computer and once by Austin. So uh, hopefully next week, that's a different story. Uh, but anyway, lovely to see all of you. I carry on 15. What's going on? Denzy Vice 91, JM 1620, as always. Shauna SFC, Aaron Luke 27509, the arch nemesis of Tafuri Taylor. Uh, Ugly Man Chief, what's up? Sorry, I could not flip the script for you yesterday. I feel like I let you down. I have shamed the household. VT Kevin R, what's going on? Raw Fitteds, Left Coast Fitteds. Uh, official Tony, what's up, brother? Beast 700. G Laurent is back in the USA, folks. Hide your wives, hide your daughters. Uh, Big Red Fitted, what's going on? It's Lou Celstino. My name is Eric and all the rest of you guys out there waiting for more names to pop in the chat. But of course, I got to bring in my co-host here. Oh, your old heat though. 10, what's up? Just got it under the wire, man. Uh, I had to come up with some more adjectives, of course, to describe this fine gentleman. Dapper, dashing, striking, regal. I think regal is probably the best one, but it is. To furry taylor what's up guys what's up what's up chat that what's was a good on, intro man? if we do that every single time we're, we're every single over. time got it <laughs> man i feel like that's like i feel like i mean like man like that made me feel great man thank you i appreciate I, it i feel like i need to like rev it up like another notch like every single week and so um yeah that's just the way we got to do it no it's, you know what it's all good man i I felt the love from here. It's Valentine's Day, so it was fitting. I appreciate it. Yes. Happy you. Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody else. Uh, we'll be sure not to keep you too long away from, from Mrs. Tafuri Taylor. Um, <laughs> it's all good. We um we ended up getting a chance to do um Valentine's dinner before the episode. So it was good. Um got so we went to this really nice steakhouse that's here in Atlanta. So Ooh. Um, took her took her out. We had a good time. Um, she got the uh, lamb chops. We had went there before. She didn't get a chance to like taste that last time. So we were just like, yeah, we'll go ahead, go ahead and go for it. Hell as yeah, man. As, um, this, this goes go around. Yep. What's up, ugly man, chief? <laughs> the mountains. <laughs> Aaron is. I feel like an episode is not complete without you, man, because like I see, I see. Um, you know, you got to understand Braves history to understand these these comparisons. Yeah, ugly man, chief. That. You see the crown, so you know you know who I'm paying homage to. My brother, you know, may or may not see him tonight. You know, you never know. You never probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Rock for this, what's up, man? Celestino, Leon, Liam Minas, what's going on, bro? What's going on, Chad? It's been a it's been a minute. It's been a week since I've seen you guys, so I gotta soak all the love in. It it feels way too long in between these like social visits that we get with one another. I mean, you and I talk regularly, like outside of the show. Yeah, like, you know, we don't get the face to face time like that we do here. Soon, soon come, Ben. Soon come. I, yes, I cannot wait. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah, what's up, Big Red? Yeah, shout out Fit Talk Friday. Shouts out to my guys, John and Max, man. Yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a great, it's been a great week. Yes, great skincare routine. Shouts out to coconut oil and, um, good sleep and, um, a jade roller. That's, that's a new thing I've added to my regimen. So, shouts out to Mrs. Tafari Taylor for putting me on. Yes. <laughs> um, it's Lou. Shout out to you, especially because you told your you, you, his quote says, "Told my girl we're watching Hack Club stream as part of Valentine's." That's the way to do it. Yeah, that's sounds like to me. You got yourself a winner there, Louis. Louis, you got yourself a winner. Just joining the house. What's up? What's up, man? 
All right. The so we were purposely stalling there for a sec because Austin like disappeared for a minute before as I was about to bring <laughs> him in, but he's back. So let's yes, bring sir. him in. What the up? goat? The goat. What were you doing? I the dog was demanding water. So. Ah, God, that's important. Yeah, he yes. was like slapping the the bowl, and I could hear it. So I was like, "All right, let me." Get, oh, there Shouts he out to Max, the the unsung hero over there. Yep. <laughs> they got just saw him in the backdrop. Yeah, uh, prayers up for KC, best of AZ for sure. Terrible. Yes. Yeah, what like the can't fuck, go to man? any can't go to anything anymore. No. Yeah, there was like twelve people injured, and apparently like eleven of them were kids. So I'm hearing or children. Mm -hmm. They didn't say yeah. kids; they said children. So I'm assuming under eighteen, but still crazy. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to everybody who was there who took all those fuckers down. Yes. Yeah. I feel like like you said, I feel like you know, Super Bowl parade, that's it's a day for good raucous fun, not you know, people leaving out of there, you know, not coming to the event the way that they arrived. So um shouts out to our guys that you know were able to take them down and hopefully those that were injured and the families associated with them recover and Get back mm -hmm. to enjoying life because I know that could be pretty traumatic. Mm -hmm. Big time. But on a positive note, Aaron Luke the, said Austin the Beltron to my Reyes. Whoa. So, <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. He's, he's been he's been on the baseball puns tonight. Austin. Yeah, I, I saw like, the Chipper Jones one earlier. Yeah. Time, so. I, was like, I was like, yeah, okay. All right. Hello to Ben dude. and Ben only. Damn. Yeah, dude. Dylan 1600 just coming in hot. But yeah. then again, it was because of the continued conversation from Flip the Script yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> Dylan and I apparently had like uh, some Twitter beef that we had Twitter to beef, yeah. at some point, and so we made up for it yesterday. That was fun to that was fun to uh, to see yesterday in chat that <laughs> Dylan or Dylan I don't know how he wants his name pronounced, but he popped into chat randomly during Flip the Script and was like Ben. I just want to apologize for the Twitter beef we had, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I mean, it's got to be Dylan. You know, five greatest rappers of all time. Dylan, 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 Dylan. Could be, could be. <laughs> um. Anyway, do you guys like hats? Hey, I love hats. I love hats. Like hats. Let's get yeah. on it. Um, starting with the site sleepers, of course. Hopefully, my connection does not crap out. Um. Straight ahead. Uh, uh, ben. Nah. Yeah, we're not gonna do this, Ben. I'm <laughs> gonna share the I'm gonna share the screen. Wow. Let me do this here. <laughs> you got you got your privileges revoked immediately. That was uh, wild, man. It, it it seemed fine on my end still. No. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm sure it did. <laughs> I'm sure it did. All right. I got it. Don't worry. Uh, fair screen. Window. Steve, I love you, but I hate you at the same time. I'm going to post his comment. <laughs> Do you like working? <laughs> there we go. And uh, you weren't even. Uh, <laughs> hey, do you like working internet? <laughs> uh, we're working on it for <laughs> the past year and a half, but we're working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So here we go, Benji. Now you have an updated list too, because yours started at the Indians, which is not the there we scenario. go. I was gonna say I gotta bring it up on the screen because it just wasn't showing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. I actually when did that Houston one drop? It must have dropped just now, then. Yeah, just recently. Yeah, dropped uh it dropped, I believe, at eight. Oh Eastern. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Little Not too bad. Here. Little little peanut butter khaki there. Little uh, neon green around the Houston script with a dark royal. Colors oh, make sense. <laughs> <laughs> with the dark royal uppers, I'm, I'm assuming what Ben was going to say. But if you need the uh, the direct inspo, peep out uh, or not peep out. Peep John's page, uh, his IG T800 John. It was something mm. very very specific. Uh, oh. They're asking me to sign up for email updates. So, I'm all right, back. Ben, you back? I'm. I, I hope I'm back. I don't feel like I win anywhere. I, I've been <laughs> through you guys cleanly. <laughs> you you stopped when you said Roy. You were like Roy, and then you stopped. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, Yaki's they open our gun hats. We got several of them. So two tone mm -hmm. bad boy right here, uh, with the uh, 10th anniversary of baseball fiesta for the side patch. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Yaquis de Obregon has been a team in the Mexican Pacific League for 
how long has it been? It's been damn near 100 years. But 1958 years. is when they chose the name Yaquis de Obregón because of the Yaquis tribe that's indigenous to the area. And, uh, yeah. This is a little backstory my, for you. Yeah, that's probably, this is probably my favorite one that I've, that I've seen of, like, all the varieties. Um, I think it's something about just that um, royal against the, the black. I feel like that's, that's a really nice combination, especially with that logo as well. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah. to see more of this logo. I mean, I know we've dropped a bunch over the past couple of weeks, but mm -hmm. it's a great logo, and I feel like it could go to a lot of different things. Definitely. A little upside down, mm -hmm. Los Angeles, see Angels now this, of Anaheim right there. So this one I like. It reminds me of, well, I can't say the name of the chip, but, you know, a triangle-shaped <laughs> corn. Um Snack and yeah, you know, it comes in different flavors. Mm. Is, is it a chili you. variety, a spicy chili variety? It could. It, could it definitely right. could be. You know, you never know. I like that. I like this Indian's hat. Uh, I like it. Anything typically with the eye logo? We'll have yeah. to figure out what he was going to say. So it basically went away. <laughs> What 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 do you or don't you like about the eye logo, my friend? No, I was going to say, like, back in the day, a lot of people didn't like the eye logo until essentially, you know, the team went through a rebrand with the Guardians. And so, you know, bringing mm -hmm. it back, like, really makes me appreciate what we once had. Mm. This is That's the fair. second. Isn't Very this the fair. second variety pack um, script eye that we've done? I think I recently. I think the third or the fourth, actually. Okay, yeah, I lost track because I know we had a collection, um, black and white stadium pack where we used it, and I think that one was, the yeah, but I think this one specifically with like a metallic gold uh yeah. eye logo, it's the second time we've done it. Yeah, I like it though. Contrast itch, ah. yeah, we've released this in a couple of different teams now. Looks like we're bringing it in for the San Fran Giants for, oh, yeah, for our boy, ugly man chief. Mm hmm. Gray under. It's a good looking hat. Saw it in the warehouse in person last week. Yeah. I do like that. This Brewers I like also. Very Different cool batch. Hat. Home to Heroes. Mm -hmm. And this one, especially because the fact that we, there, there are three people on Twitter specifically who always ask us for Brewers hats to be added to any Packer collection that we do. So, hey, here's a standalone hat for you guys. <laughs> Frosty Preem in chat. What's hey up, Frosty? Hey, -o. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. Another Yaquis de Obregón, this time with the uh, jersey script on the front and, of course, the little warrior for the side patch. Yeah, I like, I might be one of those people that feels like I like the, I like the cheat, like the, the character face as the front logo over the script, but I'm not mad at it though. I'm not mad at it. I wish no, I had I'm a there with you as well. This back logo. Yeah. So that is the uh, Mexican Pacific League official patch. Oh, no, Ben. <laughs> but I feel like that's the... Yeah, you're back now, Ben. Okay. Um, <laughs> what did you guys get? I'll, I'll say it again. The logo on the back of that hat is the Mexican Pacific League patch. So think of it the same way as like the Batterman for an MLB hat. Very mm -hmm. nice. That's up your alley. Hmm. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's the uh, the teal outline is uh, is doing things. Yeah, I, I like it. Like, I feel like this reminds me of that um, Beverly Hills pack. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of, that same, kind of up that same alley. But I like that a lot. I normally don't like pastel, like light colors for the dome, like um color. But this actually works really well. I like the pink and green with the metallic gold and and that outline as well. That's I like that. I'm taking a trip to Miami. Yes. This is a hat <laughs> that I'd be wearing. So. Mandat mandatory Cuban shirt. Yeah. Hat, some and crops. funny enough, the uh, the O's do a Hawaiian shirt night a couple of Ooh. times. A couple of times a year. So could be appropriate for that. So so what I'm hearing, Austin, is this hat may be coming home with you. That's, it might be. It might, might be. be. Shout out to that boy, Cash. This lovely... <laughs> Hat drop today. Uh, yes, based off of the euro, the 100 euro. Mm, so, okay. I feel like it yeah, should have dropped with cash pack. It's the exact same colorway. 
Uh, great cascading mm-hmm. logo. You know, my one of my least favorite patches, but you know, he did it right. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> so it no. looks good at least. If it's it gonna, you know, if we're gonna colors, do that, man. Patch, yeah, oh, yeah. Damn billboard. Um, <laughs> so, but the beautifully executed hat. Wish it was part of the cash pack because I think it would look sick with like uh, we did a Boston in that, but yeah, uh, I think it would look sick with like the serial number. I agree. Yeah. Hey, Ugly Man Chief says top five patch of all time. Oh wow! A lot of people love it. A lot of people love it. I am a hater of that patch. <laughs> nice little dark khaki pirates primary logo red upper visor three river stadium hat here not too bad was this a i feel like was this a this dropped in la first right yeah this was a restock okay yep got you Ooh. nice little colorway that john's been cooking up you'll see this on a few different hats in the near future said it once i'll say it again lock s is the it's 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 probably the best seattle front logo it is 100 percent. no actually the thing about this hat i mean aside from the fact that it's got the glacier green crown is that pink mm-hmm. outline kind of reminds me of freddy's sakura pack mm-hmm. like it could yes. be essentially like a, an addition to that just because of the fact that we got the cherry blossom festival coming mm-hmm. mm. heard you there ben heard you slash there. baltimore has one as well if i'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I, it's like, but that Seattle definitely. That Seattle, yeah, I was gonna say that Seattle's definitely giving me Moscato Pack vibes, and also, um, I could and like that. you said, also on um, the Sakura Pack with that block S drop shadow. A good, a good spring hat, in my opinion. Another okay. Yaki Stay Overgone hat. What's the CO logo on the side? Uh, so that is um, <clears throat> Ciudad Obregon. Ah. Yeah. Nice. I like the I like how you how you rolled the pronunciation on that Ben. That, that was hey, that was nice. I, I I've said this before. I there was a point in time when I spoke Spanish fluently, mm. so I know when to put emphasis on certain words. It's just I I can't do it anymore. Like I I, I internally panic like anytime I try to speak Spanish. So <laughs> also got some still got some liquor pack up there. Oh yeah, yeah. beautiful Boston. Mm-hmm. See now this is a patch. I do like this patch. I don't know if I like 90th it. 90th anniversary of Fenway Park. Fenway Pack. Pack. Mm-hmm. Have we ever done Dunkin Donuts? This, have we ever done the primary? Out. Have we ever done the primary Boston uh, logo with that side patch? We feel did like we, actually. I feel like we did like six months ago on something. I can't remember what it was though. Mm-hmm. It was um, I think it was navy red and metallic gold, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Sounds vaguely familiar. And then the latest a- in the uh, Sight Sleepers. This is a beautiful hat. Oh, I don't yeah. know what it's reminding me of, but it's reminding me of something. Glacier Pack, probably. Yeah. A little bit. But I'm I'm loving the execution of the uh, Toronto's uh, Blue Jays logo on the front. Yeah. What up, Space um, Hippie? Definitely Anything like to say about room. this hat here, Benji? What's that? Anything to say about this hat? No, um, it actually reminds me a lot of the all-star game for the uh, Seattle Mariners this last season. So just because of the two-tone colorway of both styles of like, you know, teal, glacier green, uh, but obviously the addition of the pink and the maroon or cardinal that's inside there kind of, you know, sets it apart from all the other ones. Did nope. you guys hear? Did you guys hear anything of what I just said there? Yeah, we yes, did. we did. Okay, I'm we so I'm so panicked of what you guys get and what we you were listening. Get. We were listening uh, fully uh, with interest. <laughs> God. <laughs> so we have a full size run left in this Houston. Who fucking called it? Who called it? This guy, uh, dude. <laughs> I I was dead certain that thing was gonna fly. Yeah, I fucking called it. And I, I mean, it's a nice looking hat. Don't get me wrong. I just feel like we've done very similar things recently in the past mm. calendar year. And I mean, the, who said the Toronto? You did say that. You did say that. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm actually surprised that the Royals are still sitting. I'm surprised that the Detroit is also still sitting. And that's well, the, the Royals has one size. Oh. <laughs> this guy scooped that one up. <laughs> What's it about the Detroit? Detroit oh. has a couple of sizes. I feel like that one was the patch. This was a very 
uh, not used patch. So I feel like it was a, a little bit of a shock value for some people. Well, I yeah. think there's also the other part as far as the confusion, as far as, you know, what it might be. And I feel like the D could actually stand for like Deutschland, Germany. And it would ah. actually make, make a lot of sense for it. Yeah. Yep. No surprise that Pittsburgh Pirates flew. Done yep. uh, Red Sox only missing the big sizes. So Interesting. Interesting. I think Dodger, yeah, Dodgers had a full size run. Uh, yeah. wasn't super shocked on the New Haven Ravens. It uh, it's a lot of silver. <laughs> a lot of yeah. silver. It's a lot of silver. But yeah, I called it. Oh, and then the uh, and then the D back sold out very quickly as well. Which, which which was expected. I feel like I feel like a lot of those of that nine, I say like the ones that flew first. It, it makes sense in hindsight. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we didn't have to, uh, and we didn't have to sign up anybody for AA. So that was a good, that was a win. That, yeah, <laughs> everyone's everyone scooped responsibly. That's what yes, exactly. <laughs> you're crazy, man. You're a wild man. Ben, you're muted. Oh no, no not. you're not. You're just delayed. The <laughs> Liam, the Liam, 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 the the um, D backs was also from the um, was from the liquor pack as well. Yes, I think it, I thought it was. Uh, yes, the D-back was from the liquor pack. Yes, for sure. Yeah, it yes. was those nine teams. Uh, Arizona, Pittsburgh, Boston, uh, Detroit, Kansas City, Houston, Atlanta, Atlanta and then um, Pittsburgh. Yeah, it's a nine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got next, Benji? Uh, so so next, am, am I, is, my, is my mouth matching my audio? Yes, now it yes. Yeah, right now now it, it You're not an English dub anymore. Oh my, this, this is just disheartening right now. So uh next up we got tomorrow's drop. So 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, hackclub.com, hack club app. And I'm gonna take responsibility for this one because stores actually did get these hats. I didn't know what they were, and I told the stores to just release them. And we're talking like a couple weeks ago this happened. So oh shit. There's there's either one, they either already sold out in stores or a couple are still sh sitting on the shelf. So my apologies for that one. However, early, early access. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Super early. But uh, yes, it's the next bit of the uh, the color story. So this is going to be a Vegas gold crown. I got to turn my lights down because it's coming in. Super bright. One sec. Uh, Vegas gold crown. Peach upper visor, metallic gold logo with a brown outline, and uh, kicking things off a little bit of metallic copper there as well. So kicking things off with the Baltimore Orioles. I wow. dig it. Boom. That's that side patches. Wow. wow. It's happening. It's it's happening. Um, and every single one of these is going to have a flat stitch metallic gold uh, Batterman logo on the back. Kelly Green under visor, so retro field, black sweatband, and what do we got? Oh, my God, the tag is cut off. Hold on one sec. <clears throat> it is a two-tone. It is a two-tone. Uh, yeah. All these are going to be made in China. Yeah. That Yeah, that O's is probably, yeah, like, show it on the side. Yeah. Yeah. That 50th, man. That 50th. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. So that's number one. Uh, these are not going to be in alphabetical order. So, Chana SFC, I hope you're tuned in because here's the San Francisco Giants script up next. Wow. I like it. I, nice I little... think I like that better than the O's, if I'm being Ooh. honest. Ooh. Nice little 60th anniversary for the side patch. They're twinkling, baby, especially that side yeah. patch. <clears throat> and I like that side patch. Like, I like. I like that combo with the um, script San Francisco front logo. That's yeah. Amazing. That's I like that combination a lot. I'd say the popularity of the Sa San Francisco script this year as a whole is just kind of like skyrocketed. Yeah, I feel like it. It really started, like I say, mid to late last year, and then it's it's, it's still going, it's still going. Nothing wrong with that. I, I'm still waiting for the KC logo to just like explode onto the scene, but. Uh, <laughs> San Diego Padres up next. So this is going to be the Jersey script style. Uh, that is going to be a little bit of brown, but a little bit more white on the exterior there for the script. 
Hmm. I like it. I don't I don't normally like San Diego spellouts like that, but this was nice. I like that. I, I dig it because I feel like it fits well for their for their team. Yes. Yeah, I kind of I kind of agree with that. With that brown um, contrast. Also like the usage of the uh the brown on the interior for the all-star game script, uh, and the metallic gold in the background. So well done on this one. Yeah, I feel like even if they went fry, I think actually, yeah, I wouldn't have went fryer on this because then you would have had to inject a little bit more white in there, um, as far as on the front logo. Then probably I you agree with you anyway. Although put him in the uh, the brown little robe that he wears, and it's still I, yeah, I, I, yeah. No, you know. <laughs> see what happens. Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks up next, so that's going to be metallic gold interior, brown exterior, white on the drop shadow. 1998 inaugural season died backs, of course, for the side patch. So, brown, metallic gold, metallic copper, and white. That's mm. nice. That's nice. Very nice. It's very nice. And it's like, and I feel like we talked about this, I think, last week with that 1998 inaugural patch where it's like put in the metallics in like the right places this is this is a perfect example of the metallics being put in the right places to yeah get those details uh wise guy 90 to my knowledge these do not glow in the dark uh this yeah this is definitely not glow in the dark threading but the one thing i will say in regard to this color scheme get your get your hats for easter early yes this is a good one they do not glow in the dark, but uh, you guys won't be waiting long for more glow in the darks. Ooh. <laughs> uh, up next, of course, is Austin's favorite team, the New York Yankees. Uh, metallic gold interior front logo, brown outline, 1999 World <sighs> Series side patch. That 1999 every time. That side patch mm. every time. That hat just looks like a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a hater. Uh, Space Hippie asked, Ben, does that inaugural patch in D-backs front logo match as far as the year used? Yes, it does, actually. Mm. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I felt I felt bad for the feelings of the hat when you said that, Austin. I feel like if the hat <laughs> did have feelings, it would need therapy after after that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to coddle it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Uh, I'm going to save this one for a second since we're still in New York. I'm going to go with the Met script up next. Now that wow. is beautiful. <laughs> you know what? That Aaron looks Luke. like that was made with the heaviest amount of love. Wow. <laughs> you, know, you know, Aaron Luke, this is probably going to be the first time I'm going to admit to you here. If there is a Braves in this pack. Double so Met script. Tall Come order. on. Come tall, on, tall order to beat this. That Damn copper, it, John. that copper, that copper base on the side patch. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, I, I was gonna say the double script. I feel like is definitely for people with amnesia because you know you're looking at a mirror and then you turn your head. It's like, oh yes, I am a Mets fan after all. <laughs> <laughs> Have to remind yourself. But I do. I mean, I do like the side patch the metallics usage on this. And I've always just kind of liked this patch to begin with. Yeah. So beautiful execution. Not Very a damn wrong with it. Uh, going to save that one moving on to the West coast. So Los Angeles Dodgers, metallic gold interior, brown exterior bicentennial mm -hmm. patch for the side patch. I like yeah. this for this hat. The Wi-Fi patch <laughs> as I call it. The Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. But I do like that, even though I think is this the first hat that has green metallic green in it? I think um, it's a teal for, isn't this, it? for this particular teal. collection, yes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I that we've like shown it. so far. And and I will admit, this is this is the hat that the stores hit me up about asking if they could drop it because I didn't know what it was. I couldn't find the color scheme, and then of course nobody told me what the style name was. So that's how I got you know flustered on this. So yes. this is how I know I gave the green light for stores to drop these hats like a week early. I do, I do like that um, patch. Left Coast Fitted said, "Can they see the batty?" Um, those are all metallic, flat gold. Um, yeah, metallic all or flat metallic gold. I don't know why I couldn't say that. And then there is a peach interior to it as well. Mm. I like that. Next up, Oakland Athletic script. 
Battle mm. of the Bay, 1989 World Series for the side patch. I like it. I dig it. Yeah. This would have been one of those hats that kind of like with the LA, I would have liked to see them use that new patch that folks got clearance to use, Ben. I think if you know Ooh. what I'm talking about. I, th- I would have liked to see it on this hat. I thought it would have been interesting. It's <clears throat> a good call. I mean, for me personally on this one, yeah, it D money, it's not gonna happen. God damn you. Uh <laughs> I, I would have preferred Oakland. It, it, an Oakland script rather than an athletic script, but we had already got the you know the order in on these well before the news about that kind of broke. In which case, there is new development on that that's probably gonna keep the A's in Oakland a bit longer. Love it. Mm. So do I. <laughs> Uh, next up, so going back southward, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. So this is, of course, the current on-field logo. So combination of this brown. Is one of my favorites. A little bit of tan on the inside. And, of course, the only metallics is going to be the gold halo. Yes. And that one is going to be the 2010 All-Star game for the side patch. So this is one of is my it favorites. Me? Is it me, fellas, or does that front logo seem, like, huge? No, it's a regular size. Okay. I think, no, so to me, especially when I see it on screen, the way that they did the colors on the interior, the A, that is what's actually making it look bigger. Okay. Okay. But But I assure you it's it's like the regular size, but yeah, it is raised, but it actually Mm -hmm. looks like it's sinking into the hat as opposed to being three-dimensional. Yeah. Yeah, Optical illusion. It's kind of dope, actually. Yeah. I I do like this hat. Yeah, I do yep. like that. I like how they use the shadows and the gradients um, to, to bring the colors out. Definitely like this. Aaron Luke brings up the point that it might be the patch being so small. That's why it makes the front logo look bigger. Yeah. I agree with that. I'm just weird the OCD like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then flat stitch batty, of course, on the back. Boom. Uh, next up, so do not adjust your cameras. This is actually purposely tilted. Wow. <laughs> well, this is the turn ahead the clock version of the Seattle Mariners compass logo. So, yes, it is supposed to be off its axis a little bit. The so shrunken down version, which I'm uh, which I'm a fan of. I'm very happy. It's not the one that takes up the whole fucking front panels of that. I agree. Yeah, this is the best one. I, I'm, I'm with chat on this. This is this is my personal favorite. No, same. Um, and I agree with you in regards to like the big logo. Like it worked for the on field version, but as far as anything in a custom color variety, I feel like it's a bit much. Does not so, work. Yes. Yeah. Glad we were able to minimize the size on this. Yeah. That the, the copper metallic uh baseball and then the all metallic side patch. Man, somebody was in their bag on this one. Whoa, he I with a uh with a very specific reference that I definitely get. The uh looks like <clears throat> Prince of Persia Sands of Time. There we go. Mm. I like DJ Ajax 23's comment. The side patch looks like you smash pennies together, like in one of those machines. It kind of <laughs> does. <laughs> A lot of pennies were melted down to create the side patch. <laughs> threw, threw them on the train tracks, baby. Yep. It's not a bad thing. Like, I think it looks fine. Yeah. All right. There is a Houston Astros in this, so 2000 spring training slash batting practice logo for the front logo on this. So a lot of metallics in the state of Texas. Uh, Light tan for the front logo with the open star. Uh, Brown and white, of course, on the exterior there. And, uh, God, sorry to read this one for a second. 45 years. Sorry, just the... The level of metallics inside this one kind yeah. of like <sighs> yeah, to so read it throwing me off a little bit. I'm not I'm not loving the patch. Otherwise, I like the hat definitely. Yeah, I, I kind of definitely... dig the icy blue for the state of Texas inside the patch, though. I do like that. I was I was definitely gonna angrily shake my fist at Lens Crafters. <laughs> I, <couldn't. laughs> I was like, shouts out to you, Ben, because from here I couldn't tell what what anniversary year that patch was. No, and it's funny because like even like if I'm not if because I'm looking at it backwards in a sense, but it's just like I can usually pick them out. But this one I had to like really focus on. Mm. I like Space Hippie with another good insightful comment. He said side patch is like the movie Dune. So DJ Ajax, that is baby blue for the state of Texas inside the side patch. See, I like how like certain hats in this pack have like certain colors that are like make them unique. Like LA had the teal, and this one has the baby blue, and then 
I like that. I like that there's uniqueness in this pack. And then this is the last one I wanted to save for last. I it, it just kind of popped out at me. I actually really like this. Wow. So alternate logo, Cleveland Guardians. So that's going to be white baseball, metallic copper for the threading, metallic copper for the G, little bit of brown as far as the uh, inside details of the feathers, a little bit of white exterior, and uh, progressive field for the side patch. That's the only part that I, I, I'm I not a huge fan of, but we don't have a lot of options to use with for the Guardian, so we kind of had to roll with something. Yeah. But I do, I do like the way the front logo looks on this one. I dig yeah. it. I do like it. I feel like we've we have mostly plain Janes. And then I think we'll I think we've had like the Guardian script with that progressive side patch. So I've seen this combo a couple of times. I do like it. Yeah. Uh Aaron Luke, you wish the ball and wings were metallic gold. I I don't I feel like that would be a bit much. Yeah, I kind of feel like the G being the focus, like the the metallics, I think was cool. And then having the accents and the stitching of the ball was for this logo was perfect. Yeah. But then, I mean, going back to the side patch thing, like we've done a lot of this logo as plain Janes, and I feel like we should kind of stick with it. Liam, thank you, Liam Enos. I don't even remember what fit that is, so DM that to me because it's high praise. That is high praise. Let me grab all these again. Do you guys have a top three for these? <sighs> you go uh, ahead. I'll Angels. Uh Give me one sec. I got to bring it back up again. Boom. Angels. Uh huh. Uh, I think Angels, Mets, Guardians. Go with the Mets. That's the one I'm going to go with. You're so predictable. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's see. Uh, Seattle has got the number one spot for me. I, Good I call. Um, that you feel like you can't go wrong with that. Second. I really don't want to make Aaron Luke's day, but apparently Aaron Luke doesn't like this Mets, but I, I do. I do. I do like it. So I'm going to say Mets is my number two. Um, just like that a lot. And then for number three, man, I think I'm going to say, uh, say D-backs for number three. Okay. That's a good answer. Bada boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm rolling uh, Mariners as my number one seed. Bring it back up again. Uh, just because I like that tilted turn ahead the clock logo. Mm -hmm. uh, Guardians is going to be my number two. Respect. And uh, my number three is going to be. I still dig Baltimore at the end of the day. I, yeah, I feel like. I think it's just because I, I feel like every time we've done a color story pack or like Baltimore has been in my top three. So I was like trying to force myself to break free of the 50th patch. But I, I respect that. I still respect that choice. That's fair. Oh, I did not know, Austin, according to John, that you purchased season tickets for the Yankees. That's, That's blasphemy. I would <laughs> never. I would never. City um, Field is so much better, too. Way better. I, I actually, I agree with you on that. I I actually like City Field a lot more than I like New Yankee Stadium. Yeah, way better food. Like it's like the food at City Field's banging. So, except for the fact they got rid of the uh, the hot pastrami stand that was in left field. It's something else now. Did they? Very, I didn't know that. Very disappointed with them in that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I've City seen City a beautiful I've, ballpark. I've seen City Field from the outside. I've never I've never um gone in. Um, you should go. I'm, I'm hoping. Cool, I'm hoping to change that this year. Yeah, you should definitely go. Yeah, and I mean the the bleacher seats at Yankee Stadium. I'm not gonna lie, like it's a it's a fair price for the bleacher seats, and like they're not bad seats whatsoever. So they mm -hmm. do have they do have that going for them. Uh, but still the Yankees, still the Yankees. <laughs> and then if the Mets are bad, usually they do like four tickets for. <laughs> four tickets with food for like 50 bucks so <laughs> oh wow so yeah but that's only when the mets are bad so yeah but they're not gonna be bad ever again <laughs> aaron it'll be a race to if you come to atlanta or i'm up in new york we'll, we'll definitely make that happen nice uh just a reminder you guys these are dropping tomorrow 11 a.m pacific 2 p.m eastern hackclub.com hack club app third in line i want to point out your your comment because yeah, we, we tend to do the turn ahead of clock Mariners, not often, but every now and then. 
I I would also love to see the turn ahead the clock Oakland A's come back and either go with the three dimensional A apostrophe S or the concrete elephant. I'm good with either one. Mm. And space if you said I need to check out the arc the that wonderful architectural achievement in Oakland. Oh yeah, I will. Uh, you guys ready to see what's going on Friday? I am. Yes. Let's do it. All right. So Ooh. this one is listed as the city sleeps. However, this may look familiar, and it probably is because these are the hats that drop. Uh, don't know what he was going with there. Um, but this is a city sleeps pack that dropped these on things Black actually Friday. Did. Oh, he's back. Oh, okay, thanks. I didn't realize really it got out there. Yeah. <laughs> yes he did so I, all i told them ben was that this was that we restocked the uh the pack that dropped on black friday yep that was word for word exactly what i had said so uh chicago white Sox up first this of course the side patch is going to be for the 1906 world series uh the last one they won legitimately uh before <laughs> 2005 <laughs> do these I feel like dark? that's a that's a great question what yeah. was that? Do these glow in the dark? I didn't pick up. I didn't pick it up on Black Friday. Allegedly, they do. According to Ugly, yeah, Nancy. I want to say that they do. Um, I wish that we use this side patch for um White Sox hats more. I like. So do it. I. So do <laughs> I. <laughs> uh, moving on to the next one. So yeah, it's going to be a flat stitch Batterman logo on the back. I I left this on purpose. And it's a mixture between gray underbills and green. Uh, if you can't tell for the White Sox, this one is going to be a gray. Okay. So I'll be sure to point that out for every single one that we go through. Oh, I didn't realize that it was multiple. Uh, oh, yeah. This is okay. a beauty. New Polo York Grounds. Giants, baby. Yeah. 1921 mm -hmm. World Series at the Polo Grounds. Mm -hmm. Very clean. Very clean every day. Yeah, I'd pick this one up. This is a logo, actually side patch and front logo. I kind of wish we used more often. Yeah, I feel like there was like a resurgence of it like early last year, and then it kind of dropped off the face of the map again, and then you'd see like it come up every now and again. So I agree with you. I, yeah, I we, we used it. We used it a lot in uh, 2021, and then yeah. like, we just like stopped using it for a while. I don't know if just got sick of it or something, but <laughs> it sounds like a Justin move right there. Mm hmm. Got to give the people what they want, man. They want more yeah. than their iPads. It's okay. I'm not hating on Justin. Uh, All right. We can end on this one. <laughs> New York Mets up next. So Subway Series side patch for those that were wondering what he was going to say next. <laughs> He's going to be. Did I freeze? Yeah. You did earlier, but we, we got you. <clears throat> we got your back. We got you. Green under visor. Yeah, I'm in hell right now, man. <laughs> You're good. Keep going. Yeah. Am I good? You, you sure? Are, you are for the moment. Anyway, New York Mets, green under visor, Subway Series, which, of course, follows with the New York Yankees, uh, Austin's <clears throat> favorite team. Oh, my God. I'm trying to remember what year patch this is. 1929, I think, isn't it? Mm. My I'm not, I'm not even no, I think you're I think you're right. Hold on one sec. I've got it loaded up on my phone. It is um, like 1929 or 1936 or sticking. 1941. Right and I was completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you were you weren't even in the right world. I wasn't even in the right though. decade. <laughs> <laughs> Market OSZ yeah. Uh the New York Giants is a gray UV. Yes. And then so is the Yankees. Uh mm -hmm. I know it. I knew you see this little bit of black here at the bottom. Just ignore mm -hmm. that. It's it is not a black nasty, it is a gray bottom, is what he was gonna say. I think it's a shadow from the image. Yes. Yes. It is. It is. Are these black gutters though, Ben? Uh, give me one sec. That was like the one detail I forgot to grab for some of these. Oh, <gasps> sorry. Uh, black guts. Yes. Even better. Mm -hmm. totally. All right. 
He won't play next season. Two. I don't. Ripper on this one. Keep going. Yeah. You got to give your, after you switch the picture, you got to give yourself like 10 seconds. No, I did. I, I Tafuri was talking, so that's why it's kind of like sat there for a second. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, no. You're good. Uh, Oakland A's up next, 1989 World Series. This, of course, is going to be a gray undervisor. It's going to simmer a second. <laughs> uh, San Francisco Giants, 1989 World Series, 1980s front logo, green undervisor for this one. And last but not least, St. Louis Cardinals, 1944 World Series with a green undervisor. Bot out bump. I believe these are all restocks, DJ. They are. Yeah. 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 So not a ton of them. Uh, pretty much every store is getting like at least four or five teams for these. Uh, they I just told them to release them just because of the fact they're restocks. So uh yeah. Yeah. Ugly yeah. Man Chief, these were supposed to just be like big city teams, and then I don't know. I mean, I guess St. Louis isn't small, but like mm -mm. it does seem like a random team to throw in there because uh, the concept has always been city sleeps. Like that was this is Justin's pack, Justin created this one, so don't yeah. know why he snuck in the Cardinals there, but he did. I mean, Cardinals is fair because it's one of the original teams, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, yeah, these are going to be Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, hackclub.com, hackclub app. But like I said, <clears throat> every store has got a few of them, so they already dropped right now. Uh, moving on into Saturday for NoHo, a uh, couple pinkies. So, 1993 All-Star Game for the Baltimore Orioles, but more specifically, this is the 1989 front logo. Uh, mm. Or, sorry, 1989 on-field logo for the front logo. My apologies. And, of course, Texas Rangers, so metallic red, metallic blue, metallic copper, uh, 2024 All-Star game. Both of these, as I said, are going to be pink underbills. Mm, I love both of those hats. So I do, do I. Also. Yeah. That navy is probably my favorite of the two. Yeah. Um, because I like the, the coordination between the front logo and the side patch. And then two other ones, uh, Tampa Bay Rays, so a bit of an Oakland A's color scheme. Uh, with the forest green, a little bit of yellow gold, like canary yellow, Tropicana Field side patch, and, of course, the two-tone alternate logo for the uh, Twin Cities, Minnesota Twins more specifically. I think it's the 40th anniversary for the side patch on the Twins, but both of these are going to be icy underbills. Hmm. Okay. I dig it. I'm liking the pinkies better than the icies, but I still dig them. I, I, yeah. I agree with that. Hey, Just John, I know what else is dropping. We just need a date for those hats in particular. I don't. I thought <laughs> it's supposed to be in March. Just John's That's cooking. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go back to the pinkies here. Um, yeah, hands down, aside from the O apostrophe S alternate logo, uh, the 1989 on field for the Baltimore Orioles is like one of my top five favorite logos of all time. Wow. Did not wow. know that. It it's 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 that full body cartoon looking bird. Um, I, I yeah. don't know. I just, I've always dug it. Yeah, it's definitely giving more like you know retro vibes. You know, like I think it's like I said because it's an older logo. But I don't. I like both hats. But like I said, I, I think if I had a choice between black and navy, just I feel like navy is just like a really nice contrasty color. Mm -hmm. And I totally agree with you on that. Like, I feel like even as a non Rangers fan, uh, I would buy the hell out of this just for the sake of color scheme plus pink under visor. I think it's just a good combo all around. So, shout out to whoever designed this one, which I think was probably Justin. Yep. And I like the Texas hat because it says a T for Tef. So, there's also <laughs> Yay. Yay. Um, G. Laurent, I'm going to point out your comment. You said, still sulking, sulking over missing out on the burnt orange Diamondbacks from last week. It dropped when we were in Jamaica. I had no cell reception. Oh, that's a huge oh. bummer because that hat was dope as fuck. Yeah, it took every ounce yeah. of me not to spend money on it. <laughs> huge. Took every um, ounce of me. Hopefully, we restock it one day. So, yeah, one day. Uh, but every store did get it. So, I would say if check out the Arizona stores because I know you're a local there just to double check to see if they have it. Um, so, yeah, those were no ho hats dropping on Saturday. 
And then we usually talk about the LA drop, but uh, I'm going to let the designer, you know, talk about what's dropping at LA on Saturday. So uh, without further ado. Hey, my brother. My brothers. <laughs> my brother. That's a good crown, Tef. Uh, you know, I learned from the best. <laughs> Twinsies. Twinsies. <laughs> How are you guys? Oh, Good. Right. How are you doing? Social yeah. media star. star. You know, doing doing lovely, you know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's Valentine's Day. So as Ben said it earlier, you know, trying to show good crowns. <laughs> have a good movie night after. <laughs> what what movie are you watching? There's this new Netflix movie. I don't know. It's been, I don't know. It's like a I believe it's a football movie that just got it to Netflix that Megan mm -hmm. wants to watch. So I definitely am like football. Count me in. Anything <laughs> I, I'm I any given Sunday. That's a total Valentine's movie if, yeah. if, if I can recommend. <laughs> Deadpool. Deadpool one's a Valentine's movie. Hey, it is <laughs> a romantic <laughs> movie. <laughs> so is. anyway, tell us about what's going on in LA on Saturday, bro. Hey, uh, you know we have. I'm gonna, a... give, I'm gonna give you the big screen. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna you know. No uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you the big screen. Then come on, Ben. Faces. No, I, I had it up. Uh -huh. It's not sliding over. Help. <laughs> Austin, you it. do it. It's not doing it for me. I got there it. Go. Oh. I got the two, two lights on me. You know, so I really <laughs> can see the good metallics on these. But no, um, I was very blessed by the Hack Club team again, uh, to cook some crowns this time, for the Hispanic community, for the LA community just because of how how much speed and you know love uh, they've caught these past seven months since opening day you know so I was like you know what let's bring a good pack to the LA community and you know you guys saw a little peek already at, at the promo that the man himself chief shot <laughs> but other chief. than that you know we're ready to show them in hand so Shout out to Chief. Yeah, yeah, that video was amazing. So great yeah, work. Yeah, like me, me and Chief. You know, we we always are looking. We <laughs> analytics. We just love to just be like, hey man, people are loving it. You know, people are <laughs> really digging it, and like it just surprised us just a lot because even the even the bakery was really really helpful. You know, and yes, ah. I know people. I know we shot it in Arizona, but we had to work <laughs> with what we had. Arizona. It's coming. Patience. <laughs> they don't have to wait long. They don't have no, to wait long. They don't. They don't. So probably the, the shortest day. amount of time when we've told them, hey, you don't have to wait long. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Really, <laughs> it, it's going to be good. It's going to be good times come in March. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Like the, the bakery was super helpful. Chief was a stud. The, the warehouse crew that we were able to bring over it was really fun times so yeah i, I love that everyone you know was really digging the the promo so far hell yeah mm. all right well let's get into these beautiful crowns all right. right so we start off with a, a mexican treat really if you know you know we have this texas rangers two-tone crunchy gray uv crunchy exactly <laughs> got kelly green uh toasted peanut and then we have this beauty of a patch that just went it just it's it's crazy in hand uh we got yeah. the final season patch metallic pewter seashell uh, a little bit of burgundy as well and then uh metallic green this had made me hungry and then Speaking the batterman flat batterman um and then again red kelly green and seashell and then they're all black guts made in china so hey so, hey there we go. but yeah this one to me, I've worn this one the most. Yes, uh, you have. You, I, I love this crown. Over the past <laughs> three weeks. Yeah. I just really love this crown, how it turned <laughs> out, and just like the inspo behind it. I, uh, I just have hey. a lot of these every day, you know. Championship <laughs> team, too. And as Drake yeah. likes to say, he likes his chip with the dip. So. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, Ranger fans are definitely, you know, paying the assist i'll tell you that because wow they're, they're no joke like they <laughs> are on a on a need for the crowns right now so interesting really oh yeah there we go and then um uh, we got these next ones these next two are based on uh, my flag you know from my country here in uh you know just mexico this is the san diego padres 
for calling mm -hmm. this uh, Los Padres de San Diego. Just really cardinal red, monotone crown, you know, mm -hmm. white Beautiful. and copper. Again, just a very wearable crown. I try to make uh, very wearable crowns when I can. You know, as <laughs> F is wearing one. We love this Wild Valley. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the All-Star game, the 2016 All-Star game, I went, you know, classy. I feel like we hadn't used this one in a lot in the Hack Club team. So uh, me and John just put metallic green, a little bit of sky blue, white, and uh, metallic copper as well. And then in the back, it's metallic gold. Beautiful execution on that. Yeah. 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 Metallic gold, dark green, and metallic red. This... Yeah. yeah, that they, side patch to me is like yeah, like also say it, really well executed. Mm -hmm. It's it's the best 2016 All Star Game patch I've ever like as far as color the coloring that I've yeah. ever yeah, seen anybody you. do. And I'm not and I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not saying because we're friends because we're coworkers etc. Mm -hmm. wow. I'm being dead fucking serious on this. That's no, high praise. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've never seen for that patch. Yeah, the way this turned out. Uh, bit chat. <laughs> it's uh, really good. I and I know as well you know padre fans are crazy too so they're making that drive i've gotten a couple of them you know telling me asking me how early and and rules will be posted you know um by by chief himself pretty soon <laughs> yeah for a for a fan base that's probably in like the best weather in the country that so they should be mm -hmm. the most mild mannered they are definitely super aggressive about our Diego <laughs> drops. I'll, I'll be honest. Was, I'm jealous. I'm not going to be there because of the fact that I want to see Padres fans and Dodger fans fight each other in the line. And I'm just going to sit back and watch. <laughs> there was only two hey, 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 we only have one security guard. Let's relax. <laughs> Make his life easy. Yeah, there was only two comments so far that really anyone has noticed about the pack. And I tried to basically put as many West Coast teams and really – as many California teams in the pack as I could, but I forgot. I left out to the A's and the, and the you Giants. You forgot NorCal, yeah. How dare yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But this next one, you know, uh, is basically, you know, the initial of my country. So Mexico, all right? Um, this is, a, a to me, uh, you know, th this crown means a lot just because I'm a Twins collector. I have 300 of those twins back there. God damn. Why are you a twins collector? Yeah. So this one, the way it turned out, you know, shout out to New Era, you know, thank mm -hmm. you. know, they, they didn't want to go uh, Cardinal Red here. So they said, you know, this, and I'm like, hey, this turned out amazing. You know, it did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just it brown, brown over here, dark green, white, and copper. And then this patch is just ridiculous. <sighs> Beautiful. No, maybe why are you bro? a collector so one thing my dad my, a lot of my things with my my one my dad had his master's in university of minnesota he's a gopher you know shout out to dad oh, and, did um, not know that but this is just another way you know <laughs> my wife's initial is megan so <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's how it started I... after you know i got a couple of you know m twin logos then i was like oh, you know what the tc <laughs> don't look that bad it's your unofficial way to get her name tattooed on you. <laughs> that a boy. Can yeah. I see the side patch again? Yeah, dude. That, that side patch is insane. Once uh, again, back-to-back -back hats where you have done the best coloring for a goddamn <laughs> side patch for that wow. particular side patch that I've ever seen. Wow. Yeah. Clip this. Clip this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, AB is going to have this when he uploads it to YouTube. He's just going to have this section of the show be wearing on a loop. <laughs> yeah, do it, man. Oh, yeah. And then the Batterman is also, instead of gold on this one, we went copper, copper. and then metallic green and uh, metallic red. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, I like, that. I'd like, so I'll, far, I'll, I'll as well i was, I was gonna say ab i was like i think that that's probably like of the hats that you said that were specifically themed for your country i feel like that one is like just yeah. everything like everything is really well balanced it doesn't seem forced like all yeah. the colors really are placed yeah. really really well thank you sir and that's what i'm trying to do you know happen with just in general with hats you know let it happen organically and this one it was just like ah you know too good to be true you know mexico <laughs> and twins i'm like <laughs> Two of the best world could lie. And then nice. so far, all of these are gray UVs too. So the people know the Padres, Rangers, and Twins are gray UVs. Now this next one, um, this one, I got a lot 
of mad DMs, you know, because <laughs> I'm here in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Arizona Diamondbacks based on Tlaloc. He's an Aztec rain god, right? And um, just trying to represent a lot of artwork in history. Just, you know, he's holding snakes, you know. So, you know, I just try to went with that hook. And this is, you know, we got... A dark, a little darker blue, and it's called, I believe it's sapphire blue, and then dark green, and then just try to go with metallic copper. I mean, metallic gold, metallic blue, and metallic red on this front logo, and then this patch as well. Super great execution amazing. on that side patch. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I got just icy on the snake, metallic red on the eyes with the fangs, and then um. Metallic, metallic gold uh, and metallic blue on the outside, and then if you look closely, the outer trim is icy blue as well. Ooh, that, that yeah, very crazy. nice. Good That's stuff. Crazy. And then um, uh, metallic gold, green, and uh, blue. So yeah, th this one's also one of my favorites. But you know, Arizona. Hey, some Arizona people are driving with me, so. <laughs> Wait, that one's your not, favorite? Not, I thought for sure it was the uh, Texas. No, like no, this is one of my favorites. Ah, okay. But my my favorite is best for last. You know. So oh, okay. Ooh, okay. I just thought because of the amount that you've been wearing that Texas, you have been wearing this one a lot too. Yeah. But Most, the Texas say, you have definitely shown favoritism towards in the fits. So. Yeah, yeah. I would say uh, in my top four rotation of the seven, it would go Rangers. Phillies, uh, Twins, and D-backs. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, since we're in the city of LA, you know, this next one, the fifth one, um, I feel like when we had the LA opening, a lot of people were on us of, man, there's not enough Angels hats, which there was, you know, they were just <laughs> looking. There's a shit ton of Angels hats like, there. What are you talking about, people? I know there was. And I was like, what is going on? So you know what? I was like, hey, one of the landmarks in our country is the Angel of Independence in Mexico City. So Ooh. I went ahead and went, you know, sky blue crown, dark, uh, you know, just black with the two-tone. I went with black um, brim to represent the buildings in the back of the landmark. And then I went with the 50th, you know, with... Nice. <sighs> A metallic blue gray on the inside, metallic gold on the outside, black and white uh, on the inside. And this thing is a beauty, just as far <laughs> as how the logo came out, you know, because usually, you know, it takes time for you to just like look at the hats and see, like, okay, you know, is it dancing, as the kids say, or is it, you know, <laughs> is it, <laughs> is it at a level where it's like, you know, classy? But I think this one is both, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, yeah, it, uh, it, AB it, picks up his hats every day and goes, "Is it dancing?" <laughs> That's the Oscar in me, you know. The Oscar, <laughs> the Oscar comes out for sure. And and me and John uh, usually when we get the hats and we look at them, that's the first thing we we do. And and we always try to use. There was literally on the weekend of open of opening day in LA, uh, uh, Austin was outside. You know, making sure his hat was dancing in front of the store. Uh, hey, yeah. AB, then, what, what color is the upper visor on that one? Uh, black. black. Oh, okay, it's just the way the light's coming out. Mm -hmm. I wasn't yes. sure if it was black or graphite. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, he's fortunate pictures. with that light, making it look graphite. Yes, yeah. because the lighting in the warehouse, when you take pictures of, like, sky blue crowns like this, it is hard, man. It's like you really, like, it, it's just hard to take, but... Yeah, and then the Batterman, flat Batterman, uh, white, sky blue, and metallic gold. But yeah, um, angel collectors, there's an angels in LA. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beauty, it's a beauty. Yeah, and then yeah. this next one, you know, it's attached to one of my favorite and also my dad's favorite um, Mexican baseball player, you know, the Toro Valenzuela. This, this is, you know, rightfully so for the people of LA. You know, you know, the there. This is the one that, you know, LA has been screaming about just because it 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 feels right for them. And you know, we got a flat logo on this on this script, metallic gold, uh, off white crown, dark green, and then this bad boy. Some people treat their hats like. They <laughs> 
Yes, I, sir. I, had to throw that, I had to throw that up there. I thought it was a very deep comment. By <laughs> very appropriate for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day well. yeah. Hopefully you don't treat it too much like how you would treat your significant other. But, yeah. Yeah. And then this patch, uh, you know, we, we, we just had to do it. Rightfully so. It's Viva Los Dodgers. Um, yeah, I love crazy, that patch. That's solid, crazy, man. crazy patch. And, you know, we just added a little bit more of metallic gold around the the confetti and it turned out great and then uh metallic gold red and green on the batterman but yeah la this is for you <laughs> <laughs> well they're all for them <laughs> yeah. it's dropping only in los angeles but yes <laughs> oh, that, was good. that was gonna be my the question because based on all the comments that are coming in everybody wants an invoice everybody wants access to one but LA is going to be the only place that's getting this. We're yeah. sorry, guys. Yeah, get your butts to LA or find well, a plug. And blame blame AB for that for that call, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. My net. I promise you, one in the future, the online love will be shown by AB and Oscar. I promise you that. Okay. And then this next one um, is very meaningful, just because uh, it's another Mexican treat that uh, my mom, my grandma would always just bring to shut us up in the house, you know. And, <laughs> and this is the Pan Dulce Phillies. This <laughs> is insane just because of one reason only, and that's the side patch. This is the one. This so is crazy. One. Yeah. Um, yeah, shout out to New Arrow. Good job because, man, they chef kiss on getting this on time. For the drop i don't know this thing is is i look at it and i'm like man we did that i was like it's like it's just yeah. crazy to me just how the color blocking is you got metallic red blue metallic green and then metallic copper but then on the on the six and then on the top two stars are it's pink you again you so can't really tell but it's pink and then i just try to i i really try to incorporate as many conchas or pan dulces as possible so in the video you saw the white one uh you also saw the pink one but then you also saw the the cookie that has all the colors in it so yeah i just really try to put all of them in one uh, and it's like a sneaky two-tone it's toasted peanut and then um a wheat and then in the back it's metallic copper yeah. Oh my god. And see yeah. show. beauty. So so funny story chat. Like I talked to AB and we talk we talk pretty frequently. So he was kind of showing me, you know, some early looks. And I remember when I saw that one, I told him I was like, if if for nothing else, that's that's the one I need to I yeah. need to need to walk away with. That's that's the one for me. I love all the hats, but that's the right. one. Thank you, sir. Yeah, th this turned out great. Um really couldn't ask uh for nothing more on this and yeah just really really proud of these seven all of them are great uvs except for that last one it's a it's a pink uv but there's a there's the clip for for saturday it's, for, amazing. it's amazing. Like, amazing good, good clip, work man. goodness ab i got i got one criticism and i got one compliment i'm going to start with the criticism okay, 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 okay. it's not so much a criticism as i'm going to strangle you the next time i see you because you added that pink hat club coin pin on the phillies oh, one yeah so now everybody's gonna be hitting me up like oh when are you gonna bring back the pins that you guys are selling <laughs> oh i've been seeing it i've been seeing it in the comments and i'm just like man i, See? Just, have, I, I just have those personal ones you know god damn it <laughs> yeah. um but my compliment and this goes back to i mean now that i've seen the phillies one kind of up close and personal this goes back to the twins this goes back to the San Diego padres and really what it comes down to me and why I like the way you use your coloring for those particular side patches. And I guess this is kind of a shout out to John as well. The level of depth that you put into each one, especially considering the fact that the Phil or the, not the Phillies, but the, the Minnesota and the San Diego specifically are skylines. And I don't feel like anybody has like really articulated that or highlighted that enough. And and the fact that you were able to do multiple colors within that Phillies uh, 96 All-Star Game patch, like kudos to you guys. Um, the level of depth, like I said, that you guys put into this is incredible, needs to be commended. And seriously, shout out to you guys for, for putting that. Yeah, no, seriously. I'm really thankful again for, you know, the boss man down there, Austin and, and Davey. <laughs>
Uh, I think. Well, now you're frozen, but you were good up until that, <laughs> <laughs> until that spasm you just had. <laughs> But you're back. I'm yeah, back. Yeah. Where, where did I freeze? Did I get through the entire speech before I? Before you I you did. Up? You did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God. God. <laughs> and yeah, like Ben said, kudos to Don because, like, uh, you know, the man knows his colors. You know, and, <laughs> and, and definitely, I've learned that a lot. You know, uh, in, in the time being here. Uh, but no, yeah, just the opportunity. It's another blessing, and um. You know, definitely is going to be a good time. Uh, yeah, I really think the community will, will love it. You know, uh, as long as you guys follow rules, you know, the mm -hmm. rules will be posted very, very soon. And um, mm. yeah, it's, it's going to be a good, good time. It's going to be some uh, tacos there, too. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have some yeah. tacos. It's going to be it's going to be fun times. Uh, me and Davey are. And and the lady and little little Waz are gonna take the road trip uh, on Friday. So love that. Mm -hmm. well, we'll so you said something would be, and I feel like it's a it's something that a lot of people take for granted. Where you talk about just knowing colors and being able to like curate those designs. So like, kind of give people who have like that aspiration of like turning a mock up into something actually like tangible in hand. Like, mm -hmm. what is like how important would you say it is to know colors so that you can really execute on those hooks properly? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you definitely have to come at it in a very humble way, you know, because I was very fortunate to know, you know, just take some artwork design and just graphic design classes in, in my in my master <laughs> course and just really diving into Photoshop and Lightroom. But other than that, I really just try to be really humble and learn, you know, from the people that are actually doing it, you know, so I would feel like just be a sponge, you know, if you get the opportunity just try to learn as much as possible, you know, no, don't try like, like you guys said, don't try and force anything, you know, if you run with an idea, bring it up, you know, and balance back and forth with the designer. And uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, hat after hat and opportunity after opportunity, you'll just be able to get better. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like that's important for people to hear. I think, I think a lot of people think like the process is you, you get to this point, like, you know, mm -hmm. People who are familiar with you know about you know the wild wilder valley pack, you know, knew that and then to see your growth and development to this point where it's like, I mean, I, I'm gonna say it if nobody else does, top to bottom, I don't see a crown that no one would be happy to not not happy to go home with. Like yeah. top to bottom, it's a, it's a great pack, bro. Yeah, and I think that's what a lot of people are gonna be very happy, you know, uh, that like at the end of the day, they'll be able to go there, buy a, a good crown and very happy so so that was the goal and really to support the mexican community and who knows may, maybe we do a couple more crowns in the future for for the mexican folks and for everyone on, on online so who knows oh, oh. spoilers spoilers, spoilers non-spoilers <laughs> Um, I feel like this question that I posted is probably is pertinent uh are we going one per person or one per style mm, you want me to say it it is one her style oh mm. yeah who's getting the whole clip who's that getting is, the whole that, clip? Is, that is dangerous territory there my friend but, i know hey listen i'm just listening and and uh and following suit to the big man jay over there so he yeah. is pulling He's up ready to drop 250 clip. hey listen shouts but, out to you man yeah since you know since we are in that point you know you do have to say you know wristbands will be handed out at nine doors will open at ten so you know all right you heard it here okay. folks, first, folks. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, is there going to be live music? That was asked by Big Red Fitted. You know, uh, probably, probably not. But, you know, if you guys <laughs> want to hear me sing, I will. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely going to be a, a great time for sure. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Love that. To see well, I also, we do have that, uh, that boom box that we used for uh, LSU mm -hmm. that you could bring to. Yeah, right. hey, just throw it in Davy's car. Oh, yeah, D Davy. Yeah, Davy already had planning putting in 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 my car, so we're definitely taking. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Aaron Luke, you gotta has find a, a way to get your ass to LA this Saturday, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> you gotta do it. Love it. Great work, AB. It was a, a really really good pack that you put together. I think that people really resonate with uh, how personal it is for you too. So glad we. Uh, Glad we hit a home run. I know it's going to be a home run before we even do the drop. So that's a uh, that's amazing to see. And then 
Thank like you. I said, folks, you're not going to have to wait long for more from uh, Mr. Wilder fitted. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we have uh, we have some other stuff cooked up in the very near future, and he's going to keep rolling for a little bit. So uh, uh-huh. you're going to see uh, a lot coming from this man uh, in the first half of 2024. Yeah, I, get, I, I need a break after that because two kids, yeah. personalities, <laughs> nothing. You yeah. guys will hear nothing from me the second half of the. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, it's definitely yeah. it, it's it's good to see the community love it. Um, I'm really happy, you know, just from the support online. And at the end of the day, yeah, like Austin said, um, you know, I, I'll be through your media, through your lenses, no matter what. It, you definitely sometimes won't see me, but I am posting. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, thank you guys wow. for having me. Seriously, so yeah, a great question. Will Very Austin be there? He will. He will. Oh, and wow. you know, there is a very important. We're gonna be asking some questions, and uh, Oscar has a very important question. So be ready. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Awesome. Now I feel like well I feel like Oscar is childless and you have the two children <laughs> or one with the one on the way I feel like Oscar is childless so I, I turn that <laughs> off when I get home you know <laughs> yeah 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 man it, it's yeah. definitely definitely a blessing so thank you guys for having me it's, of course yeah, man absolutely. seriously. oh yeah big red right minutes I told uh, I told AB that I I dig the memes that you cook up so <laughs> <laughs> keep cooking man. Absolutely. Sorry. And AB, I'm not going to see you this Saturday, but I look forward to seeing you the following weekend. Yes, sir. <laughs> wink, wink, everybody. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right, guys. Have a good night. All right, man. Take care, man. See you, brother. See ya. Always great talking to AB. It Always. is. God, great guest. Great guest. I am actually jealous that I'm not going to be there this Saturday, but... Hey, it's not in the budget. No, it's fine. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to be there to break up fights. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, LA is great. LA is great. They don't fight. Yeah. So, I mean, like the 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 sheer amount of people that we had at the grand opening, and there was not one single issue. Uh, I think really speaks volumes to that community. They're super respectful. Everybody's just there to have a good time. Like they don't want to see any drama. So. Um, yeah. I dig I dig uh, everything that LA does when they when they yeah, get together. Big, yeah, big shouts out to Jay and everybody holding it down out there. Like you know, I told him the, like the first time I met him, I was just like, I really like the culture that you guys are building out here, and it's like you don't have to have like a duffel full of hats, you know, to feel welcome. And I feel like sometimes in in the community, it could seem a little bit big, right? It could seem like you can get lost in the shuffle, but I think they're as a flagship store starting out, they're doing a really really great job of involving the community early and often, and you, you could never go wrong when you do stuff like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, top to bottom. I, I love that staff. I love, I love Jake, especially just because the fact that, I mean, him coming from Arizona, like he, he used to live in LA. I mean, the man was a professional skateboarder for a number of years. Let's, let's, let's get that one out of the, out of the, out of the way. Mm-hmm. Um, but more importantly, I think as far as what he embodies within hack club and especially hack club culture, he was definitely the perfect guy for the gig. So Absolutely. for sure. Shouts out him. Shouts out to the store MVP, Frankie. If you know, you know. Frankie. Um, yeah, Frankie. I uh, like I said, I gotta I gotta make my way back out to Melrose. I gotta gotta hang out with the man. Yes, you do. Great. But yeah, no, it's, we got a lot of great things coming, man. We got, you know, John was dropping some tidbits and stuff he's got going on. AB's dropping this weekend. Um, you know, got a lot of um cool people doing really cool things. Um, so I'm, it's, it's a great time for, it's a great time for the brand, man. I'm excited. Yeah, it really is. Um, Hell yeah, yeah well, G- G- Laurent, I will be, I will be in Arizona next weekend just for uh, like a day and a half. Um, but I got, I got something planned for my time there. Hmm. Let's go. All right, boys. Is that, uh, is that all, all she wrote tonight? I think, I so. think so. Um, Everything, yeah, because up until our next episode next Wednesday, it's nothing but variety packs outside of, you know, the collections for Thursday, the uh, City Sleeps coming back for Friday, and then, mm-hmm. of course, what's going on at NoHo in L.A. this weekend. I didn't feel like, you know, bogging down the timeline with, with all the uh, the variety pack stuff, so you guys will be surprised. 
Um, but I kind of hinted at this the other day where it's just like all the hats that we're dropping for the next episode of recap is going to be pretty goddamn insane. Um, to which case, I think this is good news for everybody. They're actually going to Tafuri. Uh, <laughs> so you guys don't have to worry about my my side freezing up as much. Uh, so to Kurt, to Furry will be able to show them off. And then plus Austin, you got some hats to show off next Wednesday. Ooh. Correct. Correct. I do. I'm wearing one of them right now. You have to, I heard you have to master it to be able to wear it. <laughs> you gotta be the very best. <laughs> like no one ever was. Um, uh, we have some questions in chat though, that we need to give some attention to. So definitely. space hippie asked, have we ever thought about selling a mystery pack so that you just get sent random hats? Uh, it has <laughs> been, it has been uh, hmm. something that we've talked about. Uh, you will see a lot of updates coming from hatclub.com and more specifically the hat club app. Um, that's something that we've thrown around there too. So make sure you have your favorite teams selected Ooh. by your profile. I, I will point one thing out. Um, for those of you guys who were not savvy with hat club back in 2017, 20, actually 2018, more specifically, uh, we did do variety packs or a mystery packs. Um, a camera, I think it was like 70 bucks for like three hats and we got to pick them out at random. And this of course is back when we were still making hats, you know, USA made polyester. And so there were some gems in that mm. bunch. Yeah. Ooh, did it have the Derby rattle? Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Adrian asked about the hat club pins. I think you should still be getting the the copper ones no i every, every now and then every yeah now and i don't then. It's, it's not something that i like see every single time i order every yeah. once in a while i'll see it but yeah it might just be sporadic time. but you you like have a chance of still getting that one in terms of the other ones we've uh taken a pause on pins for the time being um but not to say that they won't come back so um mm -hmm. so yeah that was a a big uh a big thing for logistics. So let's see. I This one was just long to, to, to kind of read, but I, I can take this one. So the promo that we just ran, actually it ended today, was the uh, the buy one, get one 40% off for Valentine's Day in store. Um, it's actually the first time that we've ever done a deal like that on Valentine's Day, or at least the week leading up to Valentine's Day. So mm -hmm. in-store promos like that, they don't happen that often. Um so it's hard to say as far as when the next one will be. If I'm going to throw a time period out, I'd say maybe Memorial Day. Um, but typically it's around like, you know, the Thanksgiving through Christmas holiday season. Um, and Hanukkah. I can't, I can't, I can't dismiss Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. I don't want to, don't want to leave anybody out of that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's usually the time period for those. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you never know. Never know. Just keep your eye on socials. We'll always promote it on socials when we have a sale going on. Correct. Uh, someone asked about NBA hats. So there's, I think, supposed to just be some random NBA designs that are coming in. Um, not anything specific, but March does bring the madness. Mm. So, does it now? Yes, it does. <laughs> so not NBA, but... Uh, you know, if you want to study a little bit, we might have something for you. You know, you know what, you know what March brings? What's that? Gambling. <laughs> it, does, it does. Heavy amounts. Copious Heavy amounts. amounts. So. Yeah. But, um, oh, like, so th there is something that I do want to announce on recap. Um, you guys, um, so a lot of people have asked me questions about when my hats are coming. Um, good news is they're coming very soon. Ooh. Um, other good news is if you watched, I think it was two episodes ago, I showed you what the actual, um, inspo or like the piece was that I mm -hmm. used as an inspo for my hat design. Um, so just stay tuned on the socials. Um, there'll be another hint that'll be thrown out. Um, I'm sure most people, this is my first hat and it's my first hat with hat club. So obviously there's things I wanted to do to pay homage to the brand and, and what it's represented and things of that sort. So. Uh, just know is it's a it's good work. It's a Braves. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, it had to be. Yeah, had to be. there was no other 
if sands or butts about it. it had to be yeah it's, it's but, definitely that you know but um I, I can't wait like i said it's I, I was able to see the mock-up i was able to see what was submitted um i'm very excited i can't wait to see it in hand and i know you guys will be excited to see it too so i'm excited um, for you man it's a big moment you. for you so can't wait for yep. you to uh officially be able to start showing it off and for people to be able to cop it i know that uh chat will dig it for sure definitely yeah and i and i was like i've been going back and forth about whether i want to you know now that it is submitted if i wanted to put a mock-up up there um i'm i'm still kind of on the fence about that if chat i'll i'll allow chat to decide chat if you want to see it potentially it will go up Maybe. i think i think you wait until you give it its full glory with the that's how true. it turns out that's <laughs> yeah right. i feel like that's really my first mind but i've had a lot yeah. of people like, yo like what does it look like like what colors it's just like i i think that you know i think that it's it's just i want it to be really good surprise and there's a lot of things i want it done right um chat <laughs> everybody's like do it like, well like i said i feel like if you lot if you watched like i said our recap episode two two episodes ago I did show you guys the windbreaker that I used. And actually, because chat's asking, I will repost that picture of that windbreaker um, again on my story tonight. So you guys will be able to see what the, the color scheme could potentially be. Ooh. So um, oh, yeah. Tomahawk or script day. You know what, Aaron, that's a really great question. You'll, you'll just have to wait. <laughs> to see. Um. Bend Ver 13, who asked the question about promos and stuff like that. You are correct. It ends on the 16th. The, the buy one, get one 40% up in store. My apologies. I went back Ooh. and looked at the promo. So my bad on that one. Couple days. Couple days. Um, Market OSZ 16. Drop the two San Francisco scripts that dropped at Great Mall online. Well, I got good news for you. They will be dropping online. Uh, I told the store to drop them a few days early to get everybody in the Bay Area heads up and a head start. So you got nothing to worry about there. Love it. Loving it. That's what the episode's uh, called. Para mi gente. Uh, <laughs> just John, do I have an extra device next to me right now? What do you mean by device? Like a phone? Yeah. Yeah, he was checking on that sale. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Dope. Well, I'll let mm -hmm. everybody get back to their significant others for Valentine's Day. I'm sure uh, the first thing that you're going to hear is, are you done with hats yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I can attest to that. We all know how it goes. We all I have to go help make dinner, goes. so yes. <laughs> yes, ah. color story two tones do drop tomorrow. So mm -hmm. some good problems Pacific, there. 2 p.m. Eastern, hackclub.com, hackclub app. And like I said, they're in stores already, so my bad on that one. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. All right, boys. Well, thank you, chat. Thank you, chat, for hanging out. Uh, thank you, uh, AB, if you're still in chat, for um, showing off those crowns that are exclusive to Los Angeles this Saturday. So mm -hmm. good stuff. And be nice. He's going to have his family there. So don't be uh, don't be getting in his face if they sell out before you have a chance to. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, AB does not control inventory whatsoever. Right. So uh, he's got no pull for you uh to snag you a hat or anything so don't try it <laughs> <laughs> um freud land m are you dropping the sorry did i just caught my attention are you dropping the guy the f and f pirates from noho online no that was just a noho exclusive so yeah and thank you thank you lifted truck 274 yeah uh if you guys think that if you guys think that we've what we've shown so far is great, just wait till the next episode. Just wait. Where's lifted truck two seven four? I'm not seeing that one. It's like right under Aaron Luke that said Braves number zero. Oh, John is texting me. That's why he was asking for the device. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, wait. Sixteenth of. February or 16th of March? I should probably just text him that question. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. I'll text you. I'll text back you. via text. Yeah. yeah. Um, but guys, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, always mm -hmm. lovely to see you. Really looking forward to next week. I think it's going to be an insane show before I, you know, panic leave to go to <laughs> Vegas. Um, but seriously, 
Happy Valentine's Day. Love you guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. See you guys. See you guys. Appreciate you.